Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Knowles from Network Family Wellness Center, and I'm bringing you a living well tip on retracing uh, today. This week we did our workshop in our office for our practice members on the concept of retracing, and it was incredibly, incredibly well received, um, and it really lit up uh, or open the eyes for a lot of our practice members. I figured it's such an important uh, concept that I wanted to post it for everyone to see. And retracing is very we real. And it's something because we are often in a curing mindset that we don't think of when we experience things in our body. Um, to define it, um, retracing is not germane to just chiropractic. It's, it's in all healing arts and it can also happen without uh, a healing art or a heal an intervention from a practitioner, um, but it was often called, uh, or initially called Herring's Law or the Law of Cure, and I think it was first noted in homeopathy was the first reference to the concept of retracing, and it's the re-experiencing or the reawakening of pain or other symptoms including memories or even emotions that seem to suddenly erupt to the surface. Um, and primarily implies that a person is going over ground that's already been covered, eventually reaching the point from where a person started. Understand a person's body cells have memory of past illnesses, and retracing is the process of reactivating or working through these illnesses or reawakening them. When a disease isn't worked through properly at the time, an element of, of latency or repression occurs, eventually leading to a loss of, of vitality or substance standard state of health, um, and eventually diseases of a more insidious nature. Basically, if there's physical, chemical, or emotional traumas that your body doesn't recover from and it walls off part of that nervous system, we call this, um, it's kind of like a post-traumatic stress disorder um, or fragmentation of your nervous system. It's the process of spinal subluxation. As it walls off that area, just like a circuit being, being blown, that can um, drive deeper into a person's body and cause other health concerns. I'll give you an example. Think of a circuit breaker. If you have in your house that the power went out, and the power went out in the kitchen, and instead of switching that circuit back on, you left the fact that the refrigerator had no power and the stove had no power and the microwave, and there happened to be some food cooking on the stove at the time, and the groceries were falling. You said, well, that room's dark, and we don't go in dark areas, so we just kind of avoid that. We'll just leave that way it is. There was some, the circuit blew because there was something that overloaded the electricity of of that of that circuit breaker. Just like a physical, chemical, or emotional stress overloading your nervous system and subluxating a segment of your spine. So that area, the lights are out, just like the lights being out in some part of your body, as there's no power to that area, reduced power. And so you say, well, I don't go in that kitchen anymore. We're just going to eat out from now on, because um, that's a different strategy, something else you can do rather than cook. And we'll just leave that kitchen the way it is. Well, what would happen in a week or two weeks or a month or six months if you just continue to not go there? Would there be situations of a more insidious nature in that refrigerator? Might you even want to stay away from it even more, okay? So diseases happen that way in a person's body. When there's been a loss of integrity and it's continued to ignore and it further creates chemical or structural or physical imbalances. And diseases normally appear from within outward and in the reverse order of their coming um, as a heal. So really, uh, what can happen is when a person goes through retracing, well, what do you get when you squeeze an orange? You get orange juice. Or when you squeeze a lime, you get lime juice. Okay? When you squeeze a person's body, when you squeeze their nerve system, what's going to come out is what's in them. As their body gets clearer, as the, their nerve system clears out, the physical, chemical, emotional traumas that have run their life will come out. And each person is going to be different. A, person may, a person's body may retrace or remember an experience from the past. Um, it may rarely even be something that's experienced in the mind, but rather it's sensed as, as impressions or sensations in the body. Our bodies hold memories of, of abuse, of rejection, of abandonment, of trauma, um, and feelings that we label as bad or wrong. And when you have areas that are, you're holding on to old hurts, and it's important to recognize and acknowledge them. It's like embracing a, a lost child that doesn't know it's part of a family. It, it feels separate. Um, only when the hurt is acknowledged through breath, through touch, through words, um, can it be freed and able to share information for the rest of the body and, and also create growth. Um, Dr. Andrew Weil put in his book, Health and Healing, 
that painful experiences, emotions and memories can find their way into the musculature and simply remain there as, as frozen pat patterns of energy. And those frozen patterns of energy can become frozen shoulder, a spasm back, sciatic nerve pain, fibromyalgia, all of those things. And working with someone in a healing reorganizational place is helping to get that to unwind rather than just find something else to cover it up. So quickly, a couple common manifestations, a couple common things that happen um, if there is retracing, so a patient can recognize it. A person can have fever, they can have discharge, they have elimination of their bowels, uh, lungs, skin, nose, uh, skin rashes, perspiration, emotion, um, puking, heart rate changes. Um, uh, things like um, uh, a person's pleased with their, often when a person has retracing, they'll have it when they feel their best. They've got into the, a great level of improvement because if things are going to retrace, if things are going to erupt, that takes energy. It takes fuel. And you're only gonna, your body's only going to be able to do it after a certain level of health or healing or growth occurs. So it could be like a person's pleased with their chiropractic care. They have a lot of improvement. And suddenly they find the old original symptoms returning. And they'll clear up within a short time period. And they may not have the same fear as the original symptoms. They'll just say, you know, this feels like when I had this. Um, a person receives an adjustment and while resting afterwards, they suddenly experience such intense feelings of lightness or, or laughter or sadness um, or some kind of emotion. Or they may be sitting in the reception area or go sit behind the wheel of their car and all of a sudden they have those things that they feel. Um, or they might begin to cry or have some other kind of emotive experience. That's retracing. Um, someone receives an adjustment and shortly thereafter re-experiences the accident in which they were injured. Um, they're filled with fear or confusion, but the feelings pass. Um, a patient begins to recover their health after a few adjustments or a series of care, um, and one day they feel pain. Um, it might be in any part of the body, and it could be in their wrist. Um, and somebody says, do you ever have wrist problems before? And they say, well, you know, I broke my wrist when I was in the Army, or something like that. Um, and very same spot as I feel pain, but I didn't hit my arm, so I don't know why I'm having anything now. That's probably <laughs> retracing. It's your body um, connecting to the unresolved energy, the unresolved information, and, and releasing. Um, you know, the area never healed completely. And it's now completing the healing process, and, and the symptoms usually don't last long. Uh, or a person gets an adjustment, and they're consumed with memories of a past event or a past relationship or um, something from their childhood, uh, that kind of thing. Often these symptoms will be exhibited, they may not have manifested themselves for months or years, and your first impression can be that you're getting worse. Don't suppress it. Don't suppress that experience. Don't silence it. Don't tie it up or blindfold it or um, silence it with gag it up, you know, uh, by medications or surgeries or anything like that or find someone else to do some other thing. Yet you're silencing your body. You're cheating yourself out of the healing process that you've done all this work to get to. So although retracing usually only lasts a soft, soft, short time and usually a person has a sense of knowing that there's something going on and it will pass quickly, people have been known to, to terminate their care at that point. That's when they all stop. They'll take a break. They'll seek some other service because now the symptoms uprising, um, and they don't like it. Okay. Um, so the important thing to remember there is if a person terminates their care because of symptoms arising, and it's relevant. It's part of their body retracing or, or healing a, a past physical, chemical, or emotional trauma. They're cheating themselves at that point. And though they might find something to release the symptom, they're only going to have to deal with that same issue some other time in some other part of your life. So embrace retracing, embrace healing and reorganization and growth instead of curing, and may this Living Well tip help you live well. Dr. Daniel Knowles, and look forward to seeing you on the table.